Uh, that's what we did the last time we did this together too. I remember having yeah. a lot of fun. Oh, we had yeah. fun. Yeah. This is even more stupid. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Seven questions with Stephen Brad. Seven questions with Stephen Brad. It's another episode of Seven Questions with Stephen Brad. Seven questions. Hey, and we have uh, Wes Ramsey with us, and he's got ten fingers <laughs> and a beard and, and a, a beard. double and a double high. And a, sh- and a shelter-in-place beard. COVID beard. COVID beard. <laughs> That's it, man. COVID. It's oh very good. Goodness. It's very good. It's, it's, do you, do you put yeah. oil in it? Do you put any oil or wax in it? No. I just have flashbacks to uh, when Peter was tied to the bed being tortured a couple and, summers ago. And I, oh, yeah. I grew it out. Yeah. I grew yeah. it out That's right. that summer, That's too. Right. When your beard was like freaking ZZ Top. That's when, right? It was like... Yes. And when we did that, I'm, and then I cut it off, and I thought, well, there's that. I'll never see that again. And here we are a couple years Here later. we are. Here, here we, we are. are. So going for my mountain man look in, in Let, real time. Let's keep you out of a cabin, though. Okay, cool. You're out of the cabin, yeah. <laughs> Question number one. What is the ideal redemption storyline for Peter? Oh, that's, I like that. That's a good question. I would say um, that uh, Maxi never finds out any of the truths. And <laughs> uh, neither does Anna. And uh, because of that, eventually, um, Scorpio and Jason just sort of warm up to the idea that, ah, eh, you know what, and uh, bygones and, you know. In other words, complete impossibility, absolutely. Right. Just everyone kind of forgets about it. Right, I, you know, maybe, uh, Mater, maybe Peter has some nice write-ups in The Invader about Jason Morgan and sort of wins him over in the public oh, yeah. appeal. <laughs> some Jason Morgan puff pieces? Yeah, yeah. Right, exactly. That's right. That's right. <laughs> the good, good Samaritan piece. Right. right. Good hear, Samaritan. Hometown hero. Kind hometown of hero. Jason hometown Moore. hero. Heinrich Peter. <laughs> and eventually just sort of, yeah, manipulates yeah. his way into being best friends with him. Oh, uh, full page ad. <laughs> Jason Morgan. Hashtag that, our friend. Yeah. That's and amazing. because of that, Spinelli just sort of gets on board because, you know, he, he follows what. Oh, uh, Spinelli. Listen, let me tell you, dude. Spinelli does not like your ass at all. <laughs> at all. Like, zero, at like all. Not, there's no, it's below the flat line. It's yeah. like way negative. He has always, his entire history has, has mostly tried to like make people like him. You know, he doesn't, he's not that terribly combative. And the fact that he just gives no <laughs> about Peter is amazing. <laughs> yeah. And I actually, I love the way our scenes turned out that day in uh, yeah. Maxine Peter's place. Absolutely, uh, man. I, I, I really enjoyed those scenes. I yeah. thought they turned out well. Who would win in a fist fight? Peter or Spinelli? Ooh. <laughs> would... Would Peter have his mountain man beard or because that might, I don't think win. that would matter at okay, all. It wouldn't Wes. matter. No. Well, it, it what was, might, this, the, was I, this the doggy paddle fight? The dog yeah, that's, a, that's how he's, he's giving you a clue on how he fights. So now, <laughs> yes. you know, well, and if I did, that was if also I did, a funny scene. I saw the, the stuff with Spinelli and the, uh, the boxing gym. Oh, that and Brando. Really, yeah. But here's yeah, the thing. Brando. If I did, if I did sneak one in, if I did sneak one in, you got like a face guard. It would just be like, that's true. It would just be yeah. cushion. I'd be hitting a soft pillow. Well, first of all, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be like this. It would be like, <laughs> you're right. <Ooh>. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like Louis. I'd be like want- Mario punching a question mark. And I don't think like- Peter's really worried about Spinelli, quite frankly. Would a love scene on the show with your real life partner be fun or weird? Oh, it'd be fun. I know. Oh, I like I that. Fun. Yeah, it'd be fun. Lot, lots of fun. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, that that is probably the right answer. Yeah, <laughs> and you'll have to not, watch. You'll have to watch seven to, questions not on to YouTube. Mention, we all know. We all know Carly's feisty. So you yeah. have to imagine there's you know that watch she's got now. A, a handful. What is your favorite board game, and are you competitive? Hmm. I love chess. Oh. Yeah, I love chess. Do you really love chess? I do. I do. I don't really play many board games. I'm not a big board game guy, but I do love chess. I love strategy. I love that it can take time and thought and patience can go into it. Do you own a Louisville Slugger? Yes. All right. Yes, I do. 
<laughs> I do. And uh, I never had it shipped out here to LA. It's actually back home uh, in my mom and dad's house in the bedroom where I grew up. And uh, it's, it's in there in, in the corner of the room up against the wall. Amazing. Mine's under my yeah. bed. That's awesome. Great protection. Great totally. protection. Great I protection. guess, I guess it feels, totally. it, it yeah. feels like it would protect me if I needed to swing it at somebody, but it's really heavy. How many times a day do you hit your head on low ceilings or light fixtures? <laughs> oh, that was mine. Um, that's, that's, <laughs> that was mine. that's a good question. That was mine because he's so <laughs> tall. That was my question. That was mine. <laughs> <laughs> You're so dumb. What I actually end up, what I actually end up finding is that um, it's more um, tree branches when I'm out mm. walking around. Uh, is it? On sidewalks, yeah. Sidewalk. People, I feel like, don't trim sidewalks properly <laughs> right. for anyone well, over Because they don't expect feet. anyone as tall as you to walk by. <laughs> How tall are you exactly, Ooh. Wes? 6'3". Is it challenging to have such an intoxicatingly attractive person like Finola playing your mother? Oh, that's a fantastic question. And yes, yes, it is. Uh, yes, uh, the most captivating woman on and off screen, when you're working with her, I'm literally, there are moments that I'm like listening to her accent and she's distracting me. And I'm literally like, what's my next line? Because I'm so in awe of like, just her, uh, I just want to call it stage presence. Yes. The, uh, you yeah. know, the aura of Finola. What's your favorite shelter in place activity? Finding myself nostalgically with the time that I otherwise never would have had to begin the process of going back through a number of years ago, I took in my parents' uh, house, the, the closet by my bedroom, I took all the old VHS tapes and video eight and all of that to a place there in, in Louisville in my hometown and had it all transferred over to DVDs. So digitally archived my youth, my life, awesome. whatever, but I've never actually sat back and ever gone through all. So it's been the well, beginning. Now, and now you don't own a stress. DVD. Now you don't own a DVD player, so it's challenging. Right, I I do have a DVD <laughs> player, and and I have one in my office. So I've actually been, or or on a laptop, I think they might work as well. But I've been able to start the process of going back through my life. How cool uh, is that? You know, yeah, really cool, it's man. it's emotional. I have to say, it's um and uh, inspiring. Yeah. And uh, very humbling. For, for all of those people out there, Wes did write a, a poetry book. What's it called, Wes? Into the Black. And where can they I, get it? WesRamsey.com forward slash shop. It's on the shop page of my website. Yeah, I think it's awesome, man. This guy's a talented writer, so go, go check it out. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you, Wes. Thank you, hey, Wes. Thank you, guys. Thank you for having me. Hey, guys, Steve Bradford here. As you know, we like things that are fun. And awesome. We even named our podcast ever awesome. And we are so excited to welcome you to our Patreon show. Go behind the scenes with us at General Hospital on our comedy tours and even in our real lives. You're going to see things that nobody else gets to see. So if you want more stuff like this and this, check out my dressing room. And this. You're in the right place. More exclusive content and more access than ever before. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Stone Cold and Jackal Patreon, Patreon channel. channel. Woo! <laughs>